I need to make this quick. Okay, um, it's currently, okay, 10 to 2. Um, we haven't yet received an identity for the first victim. That is correct, first victim. Uh, second victim has been found um, near the location that the first victim was found. The helicopter uh, that was sent out by police to investigate the area, to look for the suspect, um, sent back um, very obvious signs of a second body um, mere metres away from the first, which is absolutely mind-boggling in my mind that the pe people were there looking at this first body being found and inspecting it and sending their wishes and grieving and then not even a few metres away there's a second body that's just not being acknowledged at all. Um, I've done a little bit of research in the past 20 minutes since the first report came out today. Um, um, I looked at recent missing persons from um, Ipswich um, near the location of the bodies being found previously. Um, the only other females that I can find that match the descriptions of the two victims found today was Annette Nich Nichols, Nicole? Annette Nicole and Paula Clennell. Those are the two women that really um, matched the descriptions and matched the time frames. And yeah, it's, it's, it's pure mind boggling how this can all happen in your day can change like that. I've just had lunch, not even half an hour ago. And now I'm here doing research on dead bodies that have been found this morning. It's, it's I can't believe, I can't believe it. It's, I will keep to my word. I will follow the case throughout. Um, I will give as much help that is needed. I will go down to Ipswich if need be. Because <sighs> that's what I do. I'm a reporter. I'm a newsreader. I'm a journalist. This is what I do. I strive for the truth and for justice at times. And these, this is one of those times. So, um... Hopefully I'll be given the information soon to contact the families, to ask a few questions if possible. Um, but there's no promises there. So, like I said earlier, um, this is now confirmed as a serial killer. Now that it's been more than three bodies, it is now confirmed to be a serial killer. And it is terrifying. We, we, the police, the public, the locals have to help to find this god awful human being who is doing these horrendous things to these innocent girls. And I will do what needs to be done and I will help and I will donate and I will give up my time and time that I usually spend with my family to find out what I can about these girls so that they can be in peace and, the, and these girls can have justice. This is Mary Nightingale saying good luck because we're all gonna need it